<laughs> Thank you very much. So what's stopping you? The truth is sometimes we have absolutely no idea what it is that is holding us back. And that was the case for me just a few years ago. So three years ago, I was in a really bad place. It's fair to say that life was not going the way that I thought it should be going. On the outside, it probably looked great. I had a great family, I had my children, I had a great career, but deep down, I was really suffering. I'd just been diagnosed with postnatal depression. I had really bad anxiety. I didn't want to go out. I didn't even want to socialize with people. I didn't want to put myself in situations where I had to push myself out of my comfort zone. L even the normal day-to-day -day things used to seem difficult and it used to cause a lot of frustration. Things that normally would create a lot of happiness and a lot of joy in your life, for me, were just such hard work. Things like going on holiday. Going on holiday should be an amazing time in your life. But for me, it was just, it was just really hard work. And I was just experiencing all of these negative emotions. But I couldn't understand why I was thinking that way. I couldn't understand why I was feeling this way. And I couldn't control the emotions. And that was the biggest thing for me. And at the time, I just accepted it. I just assumed, OK, so this is what I've been dealt with. Maybe this is just how it's going to be now for the rest of my life. But I never actually stood up and took responsibility for it either. I just kind of accepted it for what it was. And I'd been through some periods of mental trauma throughout my life. So when I was younger, I was sexually abused when I was very young, and that went on for quite a few years. I see my mother be physically abused. My dad, well, the last time I saw my dad, I was age six. I later found out that he died. I was 18 years, old, 18 years of age, so I never had the opportunity to get to know him. Throughout my childhood, we'd moved around a lot. I never felt any consistency. I never felt like I belonged anywhere. And what I'd actually done is I convinced myself, though, that none of these things mattered. I convinced myself that I was a really strong person, that I dealt with all of these things. And actually, you know, in Britain, we have this very much a stiff upper lip mentality. You know, everything's fine. But actually, and that was me. That was what I used to do all the time. I used to pretend that everything was fine. But what I hadn't done is I hadn't dealt with anything from my past. When it came to late 2015, I decided to set up my own business. So I set up a business and I had all these amazing ideas that I was going to go out there and it was going to be a huge success. It wasn't successful. I lost a lot of money and in fact it was definitely more of an expensive hobby than a business. And the reason why is because I could not go out and make phone calls. I could not go out and speak to people. I used to literally, um, I was so consumed by fear and it just took over my life. And so I couldn't go out and do anything that I really wanted to do. And so I put a lot of pressure on myself because I used to watch other people and these other people were successful, other people in the same industry, doing the same job in the same circumstances as me, ordinary people, they were going out there and they were being successful and they were talking about all the things that I wanted. You know, they were having their lifestyle that I wanted and the money and the, the finances and everything that came with it, yet I couldn't do what they were doing. And so I put a lot of pressure on myself um, and it made me feel guilty and it made me feel sad. And this same cycle just continued constantly and I couldn't get out of it. Then in 2016, so a year later, I was introduced to NLP for the first time and to emotional intelligence. And that is when my life started to change. Because for the first time, I started to understand why I was thinking and feeling the way that I was. It started to make sense why I had been behaving in the way that I was. 
And it, for the first time ever in my life, it gave me hope. It gave me a way out. It gave me a glimmer of actually, I can get past what I've been experiencing. I can get past everything and I can move forward. And there is no reason at all why I shouldn't have all the things that I want to have. So in 2017, we did our NLP practitioner course in Manchester, which was a huge achievement. And that was great. So I immediately started to go out, I started coaching, I started to build a business. But the same things kept happening. Although I'd obviously shifted quite, quite a lot of my blocks, there were still things that weren't quite right. There were still things that were holding me back. And I know that they were holding me back because again, I wasn't going out and speaking to people. I wasn't building my business how I wanted it. I was really passionate about coaching. It wasn't that I didn't want to be successful. It wasn't that I didn't want to build the business, but deep down, something was holding me back. Something was stopping me. However, my breakthrough came in March this year when we went to Taiwan for our Master Practitioner Certification. And for the first time ever, I actually started to understand the emotions that I've been feeling all these years. And actually I've been carrying around a lot of anger. There was a lot of hurt and there was also some shame. And what actually happened was I was able to just accept all the things that had happened. Some of my emotions were to people in my family that I hadn't even considered that I'd attached those emotions to. But once I was able to agree that I was going to let go of them and just submit to that process, I was able to have the breakthrough that I needed. And it was a phenomenal experience. When I got back from Taiwan, I immediately took action in my business. I went out, I made the phone calls, I knocked on the doors, and for the first time ever, probably in my life, there was no fear holding me back anymore. There was nothing that was saying to me, you can't do this. All I knew was I am going to go out there now and I'm going to go for everything that I want to achieve. As a result of that, I started to get presented with opportunities. People wanted to work with me. I was getting asked to speak at events. Before that, I never even considered speaking at events. It would have been something that I would just never have thought that I was capable of doing or could do. But actually, the opportunity presented it and I took it with open arms. Because if I hadn't have taken it, then it probably wouldn't have led to all the other things that have happened as well. So I literally went out there and faced those fears. And the opportunity just kept coming. I, I get asked to collaborate with people um, on specific projects. Um, I have speaking events booked up right till the beginning of next year. And in September, um, I held my first live masterclass, which was a huge step forward for me personally and also for my business as well. And what that's done for me is it's really raised my confidence. It's raised my levels of self-esteem and self-worth. I now believe, I now know that I can go out and do exactly what I want to do. It doesn't matter what's happened in the past. All of that stuff's happened, it's fine, but it doesn't need to define me. What is important is I have the opportunity to really create the future that I want. And I know now that I can be or do or have anything that I want because I can see it working. I can see it happening. And I genuinely believe that it's possible for all of you as well. <laughs>